Hello my darlings, it's so nice to have you back here in my kitchen. Someone requested this, so here goes. Over here I've got my chicken drumsticks that I cut in two. You can use whatever chicken of your choice. I went in with some olive oil, a little salt and pepper to taste, my own preference of course, but it was about half a teaspoon. And then I'm also gonna be adding in a few more seasonings, okay? So things like my mixed herbs is gonna go in. I'm also gonna go in and add in some Maggi all-purpose. This is optional, but you can just use whatever you have on hand. I'm gonna be using some Byron's curry powder. This is really flavorful, really, really popular in curries in St. Lucia. I also like the better pack curry. It gives a nice vibrant color that I love so much. I'm going in with some Shadow Beni. I think it's it's called cilantro or culantro i'm not too sure so chris come help me out man is it culantro or cilantro <laughs> i'm not sure i'm also going in with some fresh spring onions and these herbs are actually from my godmother's garden in saint lucia i brought some up with me and i actually have a little plant that i'm hoping will grow and yes darlings i'm gonna go in with some seasoning pepper as well as some onions and this is literally all you need if you want you can go ahead and add in some other fresh seasonings as per your own preference but it's really up to you what you add in this last minute i realized i didn't have any garlic so i went in with some garlic powder but if you have that fresh garlic and ginger make sure you add some in okay Once all of my seasonings are in, I went ahead and I mixed it in really, really well. Then I found this bowl that I had from Wagamama a couple days ago and I find it will work really well with this. Nice little way to recycle your bowls, eh? So I went ahead and I just added in this and then guys, this is literally all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that into the fridge. You can put this in the freezer. You can leave it overnight. You can literally prep this, put it in your freezer and use it whenever you're ready. It's a really nice way to prep and season your chicken for whenever you want it okay So my chicken had been marinating in the fridge for about three hours i took it out about 10 minutes before i started cooking and in a pot i went in with some oil and this is how the chicken looks oh my goodness it smells so amazing and you know the flavors will be insane once my oil was hot enough i went ahead and i just added in the chicken spread it out so that each piece is covering the bottom of the pot and then you want to cover it okay i'm gonna let it slightly brown not like a brown stew but just leave it in there so you can get a little color underneath kind of like so once you've mixed it in cover it again because you want it to start springing up its own juices but yes don't add any waters yet it should look something like this and once it's all dried up and it looks so gorgeous then we're gonna go in and add about two to three cups of water As you can see, it looks so pretty. And look at my gorgeous spoon rest I got from St. Lucia. So beautiful. I went in with my water and then I'm gonna go ahead and cover it up. Listen, you can add as much water as you like, but I just think enough to just nearly cover all of the chicken should do perfectly, okay? And then you can go ahead and add in things like uh, your scotch bonnet pepper. You can go ahead and just add in whatever you want. So I tend to reserve it for a little bit later on. I let it boil down for at least 20 minutes before i go in with my pepper because i don't want this to burst in there all right so add your pepper and then i also added two slices of ginger in this as well because i didn't add in any grated ginger at the start but 
you can just add in some ginger add your potatoes that is going to help to thicken the gravy and all that good stuff and listen this recipe never failed me i have delicious curry every single time i know there is a big debate on whether you need to burn the curry or not but listen it's really optional it's one of those things that you can choose to do it if you want or if you don't want to and you will still have excellent results. A lot of people say that if you don't burn the curry, you tend to get a runny belly. But I've never given my family a runny belly and I've been doing this for years like this. And honestly, I think you should try it if you haven't tried it. You can see our gravy is coming along. My potatoes are cooked. I went ahead and turned it off. And this is how it looks. So delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and garnish with a little bit more of that shadow benny because I don't have parsley. I literally need to do a food shop so I can have all the ingredients I usually use when I cook. But hey, gotta make do with what you have sometimes. I'm serving it with some yummy roti. This roti, my granny made it for me when I was in St. Lucia. I thought, why not share a recipe for you guys? So I will have the recipe coming up next for these yummy roti. So, so tasty. Very simple to do with only about three, four ingredients. Just so simple. My husband wanted a combination of rice and roti so this is his plate looking so good and my son just wanted some roti and his chicken he said mommy spread the roti and put the chicken on top okay so this is exactly what he had but yes darlings let me know what you would serve yours with rice roti or a mixture of both Hey darlings and welcome back to yet another amazing recipe today we're making brown stew chicken the last time i showed you how to season it ready for curry so today it's for stew in my bowl i have some chicken that i chopped up i'm cleaning it with some lemon juice and also some cool water i added a splash of vinegar and let it soak for about 10 15 minutes then i drained it off and it was time to season i'm gonna start by adding all of my chicken to a bowl and then we're gonna add a little Little bit of olive oil and i'm gonna go in with a little bit of salt black pepper and a few more seasonings make sure to check down below for all of the seasonings that i'm using today Once all of my seasonings have been added, including that gorgeous green seasoning that I shared the recipe for yesterday, I'm going to go ahead and add in some fresh thyme simply because the green seasoning did not have any in there. And then I'm also going to add in some gravy browning. Now this is just a food coloring so you don't really have to use some if you don't want to. But I'm not going to be browning any sugar today, hence the reason why I'm using some browning okay so go ahead and mix that in well this is all you will need for this gorgeous stew i'm gonna go ahead and pop it into a bowl and let it marinate overnight or if you want you can always just pop that into the freezer and use it whenever you're ready do you see how amazing it looks once it's all seasoned this is literally it my darlings I let my chicken marinate in the fridge for about two hours and after the two hours was up I went in with my favorite pot and I added in some oil this is how my chicken is looking after about two hours in the fridge and oh my goodness it looks so good once my oil had started heating up I'm gonna go ahead and take the chicken pieces scoop off any excess seasonings from it and then we're gonna put it into the pot with the oil the key is to allow it to brown on both sides and this is how we're making our brown stew today
Once all my chicken pieces have been added to the pot, this is what I had left over, just some of the seasonings in the bowl. I'm gonna allow my chicken to fry and brown on both sides for about 6 to 7 minutes on each side. After about 6 to 7 minutes, you're gonna flip it over so it can brown on the other side as well. And yes, my darlings, do you see how amazing this is coming along already? Like this is just saying, eat me, right? This looks so good, so tasty. Now that all my chicken had been flipped, this is my bowl. I added in some chopped carrots and peppers in there, okay? And now that my chicken is brown on both sides, okay, it's about 10 minutes so far. I'm going in with all of the leftover seasonings as well as the additional carrots, peppers. I'm also going to go in with some tomato ketchup, not too much, about 2-3 to three heaping tablespoons. And in the same bowl the chicken was seasoned in, I added about 4 cups of water and I'm just going to pour that in. Now, this is literally all you will need for this recipe okay if you're feeling fancy add some scotch bonnet pepper on top but i didn't want to use any today but it's definitely optional and then now i'm just gonna allow this chicken to cook down for about 30 minutes okay don't need to interfere with it 30 minutes is all you need and oh my goodness look at that guys this looks so so good and yes the gravy was nice and thick the chicken was cooked it looks so so amazing this recipe is definitely foolproof After turning off my chicken, I went in and garnished with a little bit of fresh parsley and I'm gonna be showing you what I'm serving my stew chicken with today. I made a little pot of rice and peas and oh my gosh, it smells so good. Listen, it was so yummy, that fresh coconut in there. Ooh, I'm gonna go ahead and serve a plate because guess what? My husband just walked through the door. It's like he was timing this meal, right? He literally pulled up as soon as I started serving dinner. So this is his plate. I always serve my husband first because you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> worry about yourself, girl. I'm gonna serve him first. And darlings, this is so gorgeous. Like I said, this recipe is foolproof for having some of that gorgeous brown stew chicken with some fresh rice and peas. I also did some boiled sweet corn as my veg option today. So I really hope you enjoyed this yummy brown stew chicken recipe. Try it soon. Let me know if you like it. It's been a pleasure, of course having you here in my kitchen and i can't wait to see you in my next one thank you so much for watching bye bye